Hello guys, agora vamos para a segunda parte da correction de hoje, que vai ser da Unit 24. Nós temos quatro, do Halloween, Carnival, Thanksgiving e Christmas, tá? Vou começar com o Halloween. Here, page 95, 96. First one, guys, find the words in the puzzle. Nós tínhamos que achar todas essas words aqui, referentes ao Halloween, no puzzle. Okay. So, we have jack-o'-lantern, pranks, black cat, bad spider, monster costume, candy, witch, and ghost. Check, check. After this, unscramble. So here, I scramble the words to make sentences. I played a prank on my bro on my mother. We made a jack o' lantern at home. I light the candles at night. I want to dress up as a vampire. I always go trick or treating. We ate a lot of candies. This costume isn't mine. Is that black cat yours? And here, guys, number three, complete with one missing word. I want to dress up as a vampire. I like to make jack-o'-lantern. Guys, jack-o'-lantern, está falando com S, fica melhor. We always go trick-or-treating. We eat a lot of candies. I light the candles at night, and I love playing pranks on my brother. Essa aqui foi a mesma da missão passada. Ok. And then, guys, here. Uh, write seven things I want to do next Halloween. Vou fazer o seguinte, guys. Deixa eu abrir aqui. Todas as sentas, eu vou começar com o que eles falaram lá. I want to. E aí eu só complemento que eles falaram ali. Começar com o principal. I want to go trick or trading. I want to eat a lot of candies. I want to dress up as Pennywise. Hmm. I want to watch horror movies. Eu quero ver filmes de terror. I want to go to a party. Go to a Halloween party. I want to have fun with my friends. Let me see another one. I want to mm -mm 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 -mm. play Halloween games. Okay. Got a lot of yeah, problem. Aqui vocês poderiam colocar outra pessoa, tá? Eu coloquei Pennywise, mas poderia ser outra pessoa também. I want to go trick or treating. Quero fazer o gostoso de travessuras. I want to eat a lot of candies. Quero comer vários doces. I want to dress up as Pennywise. Quero me vestir de Pennywise. I want to watch horror movies. Eu quero ver filmes de terror. I want to go to a Halloween party. Eu quero ir a uma festa de Halloween. I want to have fun with my friends. Eu quero me divertir com os meus amigos. I want to play Halloween games. Eu quero jogar jogos de Halloween. Ok, guys? Check, check, check. Now I'm gonna check Thanksgiving, ok? A lesson do Thanksgiving. Number one, guys. Number one is this one here. Vocês tinham que mudar 
as pessoas por seus pronouns. So, they are hers. Troquei o Sarah's pelo hers. It's Mike's. Troquei o Mike's pelo his. That's my phone. Troquei o my phone pelo mine. E it's your sandwich. Sandwich. Troquei o seu sandwich por yours. It's yours. Then number five, oh, number two, right? Typical food people usually eat on Thanksgiving. Vamos lá. First of all, guys, okay. the turkey, yeah, super famous. Mashed potatoes here, they always have it. Then we can also say pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, which is very famous too. Pumpkin pie. Oh, they have wait, they have something, guys. Isso vindo Chris. Eles também têm o. Ah, oh, turkey okay. It's all turkey, roasted turkey, roasted turkey. Mac and cheese. É macarrão com queijo, guys. Mac and cheese. And let me put another one here. Oh, potato salad. Se vocês não conseguiram completar, potato salad. Salada de batata. It's common too. Okay, so roasted turkey, mashed potatoes. Pumpkin pie, mac and cheese, macarrão com queijo, mac and cheese, macaroni and cheese, and potato salad. Same with the potato. And then here, number three, matching. Go check, I'm gonna read. I celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. Thanksgiving is on the fourth Thursday in November. My mother serves. My mother serves a traditional dinner. I break the turkeys, turkeys, turks, turks, wishbone. We always eat roasted turkey and gravy. Gravy, guys, é aquele molinho. Mas não é um molho de tomate. É um molinho mais assim para jogar no, no... Poderia se jogar no, no Peru, tá? We always... Não, sorry. We have, we have, we have, we have mashed potatoes. Thanksgiving celebrates... The first harvest, a primeira colheita. Pilgrims had dinner with American Indians. Então, os pilgrims, os peregrinos, jantaram com os, os, america, os índios americanos. And I love pumpkin pie. B-G-H-A-I-F-E-G-N-C. And the last one here. So... You had to complete with the words, the words that you saw in the lesson, during the lesson. So, Thanksgiving is an American holiday that celebrates the first harvest in history. In the past, the pilgrims had dinner with American Indians. Today, people celebrate it on the fourth Thursday in November with their families. They have a traditional dinner. People serve delicious food, for example, roasted turkey, mashed potatoes, pumpkin pies, and gravy. Another tradition is breaking the turkey's wishbone and making a wish. All right. Check, check, check. Now we are going to see carnival. Carnival. Here, guys, oh, pages 99 and 100. Page 99, the first one is just to use the pronouns. So here, we had to change it for the pronouns. Those masks are theirs. Their parade's beautiful, but ours more. In our country, we throw serpentine. In theirs, they throw beads. In their country, they have a bonfire. In ours, we have a parade. In our country, the parade is in the Sambodromo. In theirs, it is in the street. Okay. 
after this? Where do people celebrate like this? É, essas aqui são, seriam coisas que vocês acabaram vendo na lição, tá bom? Esses lugares aqui. Seja no, no dialogue, seja no listening também, tá? People throw beads in the, in the crowd. As pessoas jogam aqueles colarzinhos. Isso acontece em New Orleans, no Madrigal. People wear masks, Venice. People don't have a parade, Venice também. Eles não têm uma, um desfile que nem a gente tem no Brasil. O pessoal vai sair vestido, que nem aquele vídeo que eu mostrei para vocês. People have a bonfire, em Venice também. Eles fazem uma fogueira no carnival. People dance samba, Brazil. People wear feather costume, Brazil. People have parades in the streets, New Orleans. And people have fireworks, em Venice. Um pouquinho diferente, né? O Venice é um pouquinho diferente do Brasil. And here, check, check, check. Match again. I enjoy watching the parade. People wear feather costumes. People throw beads in the crowd. People wear masks. The parade happens in the street. In their country, they, they, they have a bonfire. People throw serpentine and confetti. The samba schools have floats. Their celebration is long. Ours is shorter. People enjoy dancing. Dancing. No, 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 no. Samba. Check, check. And the last one. Write seven different celebrations of carnival. Okay? So, let's get... Vou pegar alguns exemplos do, do book mesmo que vocês tiveram, tá? People celebrate carnival. Carnival on the street. Poderia ser até o nosso, né? Que é o bloquinho. People see the. I'm sorry. People go to, to the. Some mother law. People, opa, sorry. People wear customs. As pessoas fantasiam. People drink, guys. Drink a lot. As pessoas bebem bastante, né? Um carnival. And people throw. People throw bits in the ground, like in Orleans. People listen to music. Listen to music. And one more. I'm gonna say like in Brazil, people have fun in Salvador. Check, check. And now we go for the last one. Christmas. Christmas, guys. First one. Oh, sorry. Page 101 and 102. Page 101, guys. Follow the example. We are going to use the pronouns here. Is that present his? This tree is theirs. She gave me ornaments. Now they are mine. This star is, our, is ours. Do you like it? This glass of eggnog is hers. Then here, find 11 Christmas words in the puzzle. Eu tinha passado para vocês na aula de ontem, tá? Essas words aqui para ficar um pouco mais fácil. Aqui nós teremos a reindeer, está, de, está, do, está ao contrário. Here we have candy cane, eggnog, Santa Claus. Here we have mistletoe, carols, ornaments, 
Now we have here decorations. Then we have here two stockings and wreath. This is a little more difficult. And bell. Forgot bell. Bell here. Eleven, okay, guys. São onze palavrinhas para achar. And the last one. Last page. Two, 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 two. We had to complete with the words we saw here. Que nem do, que nem do Thanksgiving. Christmas is one of the most celebrated holidays in the world. In most places, people decorate a Christmas tree with different ornaments. Some examples are candy canes and bells. Many people hang wreaths on the front door and stockings by the fireplace. In some countries, when you stand under the mistletoe, you have to kiss the person by your side. Some Christmas traditions include giving presents, drinking eggnog, and saying carols. Check, check, check. And the last one, guys. Now we are going to see seven different ways you and your friends celebrate Christmas. We have a traditional dinner. We have a secret. We have a secret Santa. We have the secret Santa, sorry. Secret Santa, guys, amigo secreto. We have the secret Santa. Oh, I do this, guys. We watch movies. We watch Christmas movies. We listen to Christmas songs. We have fun with the family with the family mm, we cook we eat a lot ó, coloquei aqui ó, alguns exemplos, tá? me passem os de vocês, se forem diferentes se vocês quiserem conferir, me passem os de vocês todas essas aqui, tá? todas essas atividades que eu passei me passem as, as opções de vocês para conferir aqui eu coloquei, ó we have a traditional dinner, nós temos um Jantar tradicional. We have the secret Santa. Nós temos um amigo secreto. Secret Santa. We watch Christmas movies. Nós assistimos a filme de Natal. We listen to Christmas songs. Nós escutamos músicas de Natal. We have fun with the family. Nós nos divertimos com a família. We cook. Nós cozinhamos. And we eat a lot. Nós comemos demais. Esse aqui acho que é o mais certo, né? We eat a lot. Ok, guys? Alguns exemplos, tá? Me passem um de vocês para ver se tá tudo certinho. Ok, guys? So, that's it. Corrigimos essas quatro lições, tá? Essas quatro lições do workbook de vocês. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Carnival and Christmas. Deixa tudo certinho aí no book de vocês, para não ter erro. Pelo menos já fica tudo organizadinho, tá bom? Guys, thank you, thank you so much. Have a very nice holiday, okay? Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I hope you have a nice vacation too. And I see you next year, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, guys. Have a nice day. See ya.